Hello students, today we are going to learn about Pioneer Life. One of the most traveled trails that the pioneers used was the Oregon Trail, which started in Independence, Missouri and ended in Oregon. The houses the pioneers lived in were called log cabins, which consisted of one room and a loft. These cabins were made out of wood. Railroad stations. There are also quite a few things about western farming that just fly in the face of the mythical Jeffersonian yeoman farmer ideal. Firstly, this type of agricultural work was a family affair. Many women bore huge burdens on western farms, as can be seen in this excerpt from a farm woman in Arizona. Get up, turn out my chickens, draw a pail of water, make a fire, put potatoes to cook, brush and sweep half inch of dust off floor, feed three litters of chickens, then mix biscuits, get breakfast, milk, besides work in the house and this morning had to go half mile after calves. These family run farms were increasingly oriented toward production of wheat and corn for national and even international markets rather than trying to eke out subsistence. Farmers in Kansas found themselves competing with farmers in Australia and Argentina, and this international competition pushed prices lower and lower. Secondly, the Great Plains, while remarkably for Pioneer families were large, and the children were used to work around the home, and had important jobs such as gardening, weaving, hunting, and building. Early on, pioneers viewed schooling as not important for their children because they were needed to help at home with chores, but as humanities grew, education became more important. I'm going to demonstrate how pioneers made live soap to wash themselves and do their laundry. The ingredients that you will need for this is lard, lye, and distilled water. So first, we're going to measure out our lard. And you're going to need 32 ounces, which is the equivalent of 2 pounds. And make sure when you're doing your lye, you want to make sure you put it in a glass jar. So first, what we're going to do is, we're going to measure out, because we have to add the water and the lye together. So we're going to first measure out the water, because you always want to make sure you pour the water into the jar first, never the lye first. Now we're going to measure out our lye, and you're going to need 4.4 ounces. And as soon as you put this in there, it's automatically going to heat up. Waiting on our lye to cool to 85 degrees, we're going to check our lard and see if it's at the temperature we need it to be, which is 90 degrees. Well, it looks like our lard is the temperature we need it, so we can take it off the stove. And we are going to pour it into our container. Now we're going to pour our lye solution into our lard. Now we're going to mix it up and it should be about the consistency of like a slurpee. Now that it has thickened up, we're going to pour it into our mold. Make sure you pour it very carefully so nothing splatters. Once you have it in your mold, you'll set it aside and it will begin to cool 
and settle and now for about three to five hours. Once it does that, you can cut it into bricks. And then your end result will be your bar, your line bars. The Pioneer clothes were homespun and made from a coarse cloth of mixed linen and wool. Some were also made from animal skins. These are just some of the facts about the Pioneer life. Their lives were filled with hardship and danger, but they were able to persevere and make it in the West. And by having a strong family, this also helped them to make it out in the new land. I hope this helped you understand how the Pioneers lived.